do this. <clears throat> All right, slope. What is slope? Does anyone know what slope is? Right? No one? Does anyone know what a coordinate is? Yeah. Yeah? What's a coordinate? Not sure? Yeah. This, this is 8th this is grade pre algebra, right? We don't know that yet, so we're going to learn it. So the first thing we need to know is what is a coordinate? What is a coordinate? Okay? What is it? And it is a point made up of X and Y. It's a point made up of X and Y. Now instead of making these both red, I'm going to make one red and one green. Okay? And the reason is so that you can see the difference in the point. Okay? So the red one, this one, right? That has an X value of 1, 2, and 3, right? Can I get security to the kitchen, please? Security to building floor, sorry. Building floor, please. Security to building four. Alright, so we got three. Okay? So that is three for X. But it's also confusing because it's three for what? Three. For the Y value. Because we go up how much? Three. Three. That makes three for the Y, so that's a little bit confusing coordinate, right? A little bit. But that's the coordinate, so that's what we have to deal with. Let's talk about the green one. What's the coordinate for X on the green? How far over do we go? How far right or left do we go for this green one? Charles. That's your warning, so we want to move. We can move. To negative three. No, X, right or left. So we gotta be paying attention. How far right do I go? One. One. Okay? So the X value is one. One. And negative three. Okay? Yeah, and the Y value, thank you, is going down three. So it's negative. And this is huge, guys. I know this seems simple, right? Down is negative, up is positive. Right is positive, left is negative. That sounds simple, but I guarantee you, students struggle with this all the way to calculus. Okay? So, and this is the basis of calculus. Calculus is all about slopes. Okay? So, to talk about the slope, we gotta pull out my face. Right? So everybody has this face written on their paper. And the face looks like this. Negative. I don't got that face. No, we're writing it on our paper. Oh. Negative. Positive. So that means this slope, if it goes down from left to right, is a negative slope. So is this slope positive or negative? Positive. Um. Right, because it goes up from left to right. It's uphill. It's a positive slope. Yep. Is that pretty easy? Yep. All right. What about this slope? Anybody know what that is? Neither. It is. It's neither. Not only is it neither, it's none. It's no slope. So just like... If Charles was getting on my case and I wanted to grab him and throw him out that window, right? That would be no solution, right? Throwing someone out the window or off a cliff, that's no solution. But think about that. What is a cliff? What is a window? Straight up and down, right? No solution. Or, like I like to think about it, no solution. <laughs> you can laugh at the case. All right, then. What else do we got? We got this slope. Does anyone know what this slope is? Neither. It's not neither. No. It is a slope. Oh, I know. Negative. This is none. Negative. This is a negative. This is negative. 
That's a positive. So what comes between positive and negative? Division. Nothing. Not nothing. None. Not none. None is the nose. The none. Right? The mouth. The mouth is what? Think, think. If we go from negative three, negative two, negative one, one, two, three, what's in between those numbers? Zero. Boom. Zero slope. So this slope, like your desk, has a zero slope. Like floors, usually roofs, but ours doesn't, right? What slope is our roof? Is this positive or negative? Negative. Yes, because it goes down from left to right. Okay, so that's a negative slope, but this floor is zero slope. No, there's a couple bumps in it. <laughs> All right, okay, and this is the face. Now, with this face, I add a few things. I get a nose ring in there, right? Because it's, you know, it's 2020. Everybody's got a nose ring these days, right? Makes the guy look a little cuter. But what makes a guy look even cuter, eh? Earrings. Nice. Charles's little dimples. Okay. Put that on pause, Charles. Come on now. Alright, so. <clears throat> what? What? Emma. Yeah, thought I heard something. Man. Did you fart? No, I wish. Did you want to pull my finger? Yeah. <laughs> Right here, pull it right here. Here you go. All right, now, that is the face. And let me tell you, it's powerful. I had a student of mine back at Stadium, right? He Facebooked me eight years later. Eight years. He Facebooked you? Yeah. I had him in 2003, right? And in 2011, he Facebooked me and said, hey, messaged me and said, bro, I just showed your face to my girlfriend who's in college right now at TCC, right? Because the face is huge. You have to know these slopes. And the hardest slope is knowing this one and this one, okay? So the other thing we want to know about slope is it's rise over run. Okay? That's what slope is. It's rise over run. So when I look at these two points, what is the slope? How much do I rise and how much do I run? So, how much do I go up? One, two, three, four, five, six, right? So my slope is positive six because I went up six. Does that make sense? And then I went right or left? Right. Right. How many? One. One. Three. Two. Two. So I went oh. two. Yeah. Right? So I went over two. So I went positive two. I went right two. Okay? Now, another thing we, we do for slope is we call it M. So M is equal to what? M is equal to 6 over 2. But is there any number that goes into 6 and 2? Any number you know of that goes into 6 and 2? Summer? What goes into 6 and 2? Three. Mm. Close. 6 divided by 2 is 3. But 2, right? 2 goes into 6 3 times. And 2 goes into 2 once. Right? And so we reduce the fraction... So that's a way, it's called upside down division, right? I kind of implemented this, created this to be able to get students to reduce fractions, find prime factorization, 
factor polynomials. We do this all the way to calculus. So this upside down division is really, really powerful. So get used to it. Now, what step is that? How did we find the slope? Well, we use the definition of slope, right? Rise over run. So we're just going to say our first step was the definition of slope. Okay? And then what was our second step? We reduced it, right? So we simplified it in geometry, but in our case, when you divide and you're just doing it on one side, that's PEMDAS, right? So we're doing MD. So our second step is MD with the arrow on top, PEMDAS. Now this becomes really important because on your midterm, I'm going to have you explain in words everything you just did. Okay? So, you have to show this step and then you're going to tell me in words everything you just did. Okay? So if you do that now, you get extra credit. One point on every, every problem. You'll get one point extra credit. Which adds up. Believe me. Okay? And that's it. M is equal to 3. Okay? That is your slope. So, we figured out the coordinate. We found the rise over run. We know it's positive. It's positive. And believe it or not, we go up 3, 1, 2, 3, and over 1. Up 3, 1, 2, 3, and over 1. Up 3, and over 1. Every time, that's the slope of the line. Cool? Alright, let's do it a little faster on the next problem.